welcome back to Bioshock. I'm Slider, and in a surprise twist, I'm joined by... Hi, y'all. It's my Hiya. Lava. <laughs> oh, I thought your name was Haya. I was very confused. Yeah, my, my name changed while I was away. It's been a confusing yeah. few weeks. Anyway, but aside from all that, I am back and ready to see what bios we are shocking now. The shocking twist of bio. <laughs> So, fun Fine. thing, yeah. originally this entire episode was just going to be me overly quickly ta recapping the entirety of what you missed and recapping what we're doing now, but then you went and actually watched the videos. <laughs> I didn't actually watch the videos. Yes. So, I, ca I, I generally know where we are now, sort of. This game is very confusing sometimes, a lot of weird shit happens. Yes, it does. So oh, currently, look at all those pretty people. Currently, we killed that person, but uh, currently we are trying to find parts for an EMP bomb, so we can get a door open. Because that's the best way to open a door—an EMP. Yes. Screw door handles. We need EMPs. Well. Uh. Going back to where the corpses tried and failed to scare us. Given how much of this place is thoroughly steampunk, I'm amazed that an EMP is a very effective tool, actually. <laughs> well, I, I guess it makes sense in the sense that there's a lot of... If, considering the first plasmid we got was electricity-based, and I just used an electricity-based weapon. True. I guess there's still some traditional electricity involved in some way. Big Daddy on top of Big Daddy. See, now every time I see the scary clown, I keep thinking of those adverts for it that keep playing before my YouTube videos. <laughs> I came in to go back and watch the 90s miniseries. Apparently it's quite good. Well, I've heard good things about the new movie, too. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things. So we need need some things from the big daddies and we have an alive big daddy here, so let's make him not alive. He's still alive, but we can fix that. Yes. And take a picture of him while he's on fire. We can't max amount of damage on him, and of course this electric oh. thing is gonna shock him so he can't even move. This daddy's on fire. <laughs> so random, th actually, random thing is, uh, I thought, I actually thought the girl on fire the first time when I heard it. I thought it was a weird. It was about, I don't know. I thought it was actually about a gay man because it's like she's a flame, and I'm like, is that a gay thing? <laughs> I honestly thought that when I heard that song. To be fair, it's a weird ass song and a weird ass video. Yes. It's about being on fire and everything is on fire. Fire, fire. Yep. Oh yeah, I remember. No wonder I thought the line I remember is uh looks like a girl but she's a flame. That sounds like a like that actually that specifically sounds like a drag queen thing. I can't be the only one who, who's thought that. I mean, I didn't, but 
I don't know. This is the most random tangent. I, I find it hard to believe. Bees, 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 oh, bees, 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 bees. Covered in bees. I find it hard to believe that would be the most random tangent we've ever been on. He literally said, not the bees. Oh my god. No! Not the bees! For They're in his I eyes. Saw, I saw the press to use first aid thing, and I was like, I don't know if we want to use first aid on these guys. It's like, no. oh wait, on you. On you. Yes. So the unfortunate thing is that sometimes the bees stick around. And that's really bad if you run into a big daddy. That doesn't sound like fun. Then getting stung to death and shot in the face ain't fun either. Probably not. See, like I said, the bee the big daddy got <laughs> got attacked by the bee accidentally, so now it's gonna attack us. Whoop. Well, that wasn't fun. No. Yeah, it's one of the reasons I don't use bees as much as I'd want to. Uh, he's attacking again! Because I don't want to deal with more big daddies attacking just because a bee was around. Yeah, I don't. Th I don't think this is saving the bees. Well, I guess I'm so used to about this game, but it's it really is just like the creepiest thing, especially when you have your hand out and there's just bees crawling. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> That's terrifying. Wait, we've put it into the MP and the R34s, which um, that that sounds like an internet thing. I I don't want to see Big Daddy R34. <laughs> that that sounds like a Reddit thread that I don't want to see. Not ever. Like, I, I, I'm sure it exists, but... No. No. So we have to get one more thing for our bomb. It's right in here. Didn't notice this my first time, but... Right in front of the desk, I believe. Is it in front of the desk? Want to get in there. And there's a button to open that window. And that button is not a shotgun. See, usually a shotgun is a pretty effective button. Opens all sorts of things. Yes. But right here, the intriguing switch! It's red and everything! How intriguing! <laughs> It also activates these turrets, or just one. Let's hack it to be on our side! And take the nitroglycerin. As you do. Place it in and yeah. <laughs> Sorry, and we just you, pick it up like it's nothing. You, 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 you just built a bomb. bomb. You gotta have an evil laugh. You got to put it on the core past Geo 
geothermal control. And we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. Yeah, we found that they didn't, and we just blew up and died. But that was it. Yeah. Hey, Abby. Please tell me there's like an epic sequence at the very end of the game of this place finally collapsing and fully flooding and just kind of falling apart on the seabed. I want to see that. Oh and by the way, yeah it is Hephaestus. The Greek crafting god who built most of the gods' weapons and was also totally married to Aphrodite. I think his Roman name is Vulcan. Cool. He lived in a volcano, which is why, where the word volcano comes from and the whole field of volcanology. And the planet Vulcan in Star Trek for reasons I don't totally follow. Well, like, someone that does explain a lot about this area. Especially since we're in the geothermal area. Yeah. Symbolism! First of all, screw you, turds. <laughs> And yeah, we should definitely do just that. Try, because as soon as we start trying to turn this thing, kind of has to deal with a lot of enemies coming in who will just happen to know where we are at that very time, and not before then. Fun. Maybe the big daddy would be helpful to have, but let's set up some proximity mines. Yeah, I guess we can start Did turning it. Creatures kill you? Even I don't know. As you drag me closer to the abyss, you pull yourself right along with me. I offer you a quick death, Parasite. It will be preferable to what you will learn if you win. I have my doubt on that. Knowledge, death. Knowledge, death. Not the hardest things, not the hardest options to weigh against each other. Yeah. See, it already blew up something behind the door. Hey, Wing Sir, welcome to Air Ryan. Knowledge or death? Unfortunately, Houdini Splice just gonna screw this up. As Though that do. one ran into it at least, but. Pretty sure we're gonna get attacked soon. Here we go. Is there blood in the streets? Oh, it. I need to attack the Big Daddy too, god damn it. This is also why it's questionable to equip the shock, you know, you get hit, you get shocked thing, because if an enemy gets near you and you're near the Big Daddy, it'll get shocked and then it'll attack you. It is our impatience that invites in the parasite of deep government. Just annoying, come on. 
You were my friend, and by that mean I possessed you, but you were my friend. I, I'm unsettled by the name Magma Release Valve. I don't think you should release the Magma. That sounds like a bad idea. This doesn't seem like a good idea. But neither does the city, but so whatever. I mean, it seems to be fiction, Lava, if you can be this close to, you know, an open flow without combusting. But still. So the annoying thing about that was that uh, you have to hold A to uh, move the valve, but holding A as soon as you're away from the valve activates the most recent uh, diary, audio diary you got. So it kept playing <laughs> the same one, which is annoying. <laughs> So you use the bomb right after we get some more items. But yeah, that should be about it. And uh, yeah, next time we're gonna mess with the core try to and try to finally, finally get to Angel Ryan. <laughs> And get that sweet, sweet knowledge. Or death. The knowledge of death? The knowledge of your own mortality. <laughs> yeah. Which would be ironic, considering how whenever we die, we just come back in one of those chambers. 